Hey my loves, this is Jay from Jay Young Healing and this is going to be a general reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Excuse the hair, excuse the outfit. It is Sunday. It is a laid back chill day, okay? First, I want to give a shout out to one of my subscribers, Dominique, for gifting me with this beautiful deck. It is called the Sacred well, it's called the Sacred Self-Care Act, I mean, Sacred Self-Care Deck. <laughs> but we're going to do Sacred Self-Care Acts. I'm going to use this for your advice, Capricorn, um, for the remainder of the month. And we'll get started. Again, this is not going to resonate with everyone out there. So take the part that resonated and apply it to your life, however it fits. Zodiac scenarios and um, genders can be interchangeable, okay? Hope you all are doing well with everything that's happening in the world right now. You're taking that time for yourself and really reconnecting, okay? And also getting some rest, Capricorn. Let's get the overall energy for you. Overall energy for Capricorn, please. Too many cards, but this one really, this one came out and it was like right on top and it was like, wah. So the faith card is here for you, Capricorn. So um, this is about hope, support, miracles, and spirituality. Let's pull some tarot on that for you before we get into that. What is the overall energy for Capricorn, please? Okay, bottom of the deck, Page of Swords. This could be an energy coming towards you, Page of Swords. Could be a uh, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius energy coming towards you, someone younger. This could also be mental clarity for some of you guys that is coming through. Um, I feel like, you know, you guys being recognized in a way or you recognizing something, just becoming more aware of something in your life. Okay, so I, I picked or I chose or what came out what was chosen for you is the Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Strength card. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or another Capricorn, or that could just be your energy. We also have in the center is the Six of Swords, which is, um, again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy. And then we have Leo. So some of you could be dealing with this person. You could be dealing with someone around you. I could be picking up on energy around you, or this could be energy in your chart, okay? Um... I feel like for some of you, some of you are, this could be, you know, this could pertain to some of my singles. Some of you are um, in a place of being supported and maybe spiritually being supported, uh, maybe financially being supported right now. And I feel like you're able to walk away from a situation for some of you. You're finding courage to be able to just finally walk away from something that isn't serving you. You're trusting in the process with this faith card. And I do feel like there's energies that are opening up for you on the other side. Let me clarify this Six of Swords. I feel that some of you are in fear. This could have been, um, you could be feeling this now. You could be feeling this in the most recent past. Um, this could be coming up in your future. Three of Coins in reverse. The Knight of Swords and then the King of Coins in reverse. Okay, so we're clarifying the Six of Swords right here. Um, let's see. So some of you have been a bit hesitant in receiving the help. Um, I feel like, but I feel like you're coming out of that. I feel like you're more open to it. Some of you are, you know, again, like I said, could be smack dead in this energy or this could be something you just recently went through. Is ask, being able to ask for help, being able to receive the assistance and finding courage because some of you are just so super independent and um, you kind of do things all on your own. And it takes a lot for you to be able to ask people for help. So I feel like some of you are now opening up to trusting the process, trusting in people, receiving that, re receiving the support. Um, I feel like miracles are also happening for some of you right now too, because you're just trusting in this process. Now with this Six of Swords here and clarifying this, um, I feel like you again you're you're coming out of this phase you're walking away from something you're allowing the help to come through some of you probably were you know attacked in some sort of way 
or um, you could have just felt some sort of um, uh, mental, some stress that you guys were definitely experiencing, uh, possibly in a relationship that some of you have been dealing with or a relationship that you've been in. But again, I feel like some of you are coming out of that energy. You could have been, um, this could be your energy, this king of coins in reverse, or you could be dealing with another earth sign. Um, but again, I feel like you're definitely walking away from something um, or, or in, and could be walking into something else. And you could be walking into this, you know, phase of strength, walking into this, um, walking into courage, walking into happiness, um, walking into a mental clarity because I'm looking at this, this, um, the infinity sign on top of her head, on the top of her head um, is standing out for me. So there's just this energy of connection, things flowing as they should, miracles are occurring, you're stepping into your um, your true essence and things are just really opening up for you right now. So that's the overall energy, but let's hop into some advice that we can give you for um, the remainder of the month. All right, so again, I'm pulling from the Sacred Self-Care deck. What's the advice that we have for Capricorn, please? Advice for Capricorn. Look to the stars, bottom of the deck. You can read, meditate, and clean your space, okay? So these are just things that you can definitely, um, you know, indulge in or engulf yourself in during this time of being quarantined if you know <laughs> wherever you are in the world and you're having to stay in and not able to work and go out um these are some of the things you can do uh look to the store look to the stars and i feel like that is definitely you connecting and meditating some of you could be astral projecting um if you're really deep into meditation right now Reading is also a big part of your self-care that you can do just, you know, engulfing yourself in research. If some of you are wanting to start a new project, this is a good time for you to set some goals, do some research on it, um, reach out to investors if you are um, looking to do that, and you can clean your space. I feel like that's also a very, very important um, aspect in your healing is clearing your space out and making sure it's clean because the way that your... Um, your environment impacts your mental stability. Okay, so if things are feeling chaotic or just out of sorts in your environment, it's probably matching and reflecting what you're feeling internally. So all of these things can definitely help you um, look to the stars, meditate, read, and clean your space. Let's pull some tarot on that. Advice for a Capricorn. Okay, the bottom of the deck, the page of wands, information coming in um, for you. This could also be a card of travel, but you know, I feel like people aren't doing much of that right now with having with being on lockdown. On the bottom of that deck, on the bottom of that card is the sun card. So a lot of happiness coming in for you. Whatever this news is that's coming in brings in happiness. Some of you have been feeling um, a bit depleted. You've been feeling kind of in prison. And maybe some of you are actually feeling in prison right now, being in your home. But you can follow these tips on what you can do to get yourself in alignment with um you know, the support that you're, need, that you're needing right now um, and the happiness that you're wanting to really step into. Um, cleaning your space, reading, meditating, um, looking to the stars could definitely take you out of this mental, um, mental state of debilitation, okay? Some of you are having to make a decision with that two of pentacles in the center. That's your energy, Capricorn. You're going to have to weigh out some options about something. Whatever this message is, is coming in for you. It's like you're going to have to choose something. You choose this or that. And I do feel like there's an energy of you choosing this opportunity that's coming in for you with the Ace of Pentacles there. It's letting me know there could be a financial opportunity coming in for you. Um, it could be a loan. It could be investment. It could be some sort of financial aid, some sort of just some sort of financial assistance, period. But I feel like someone is offering you a hand. Remember... We have the energy of um, 
hope, support, miracles as your overall energy and you ask, you being able to step into an energy of um, asking for support. And I feel as you ask, you believe and you, you, will, you will receive it, okay? So something is coming towards you, okay? Could also be dealing with a fire sign there or this fire sign could be delivering this opportunity to, um, to you. But um, there's for sure an opportunity for that to come in. This is, could be, you know, a new career opportunity for some of you new financial gain, um, manifesting some sort of abundance or an opportunity, or this could be a new venture, but that is definitely coming towards you, okay? So in the meantime, you need to get your mind right, Capricorn, and really uh, take uh, take heed to the, to the advice that's here, and also you can definitely come up with your own task or your own, you know, acts of self-care that you can um, partake in on a daily basis while you're in this state right now. We're all in this state of having to just kind of... Um, you know, tune in and tune out, and we're kind. We're trying to connect and disconnect um, all at the same time. So it could be a very chaotic, fear-based, fear-driven energy. So right now, it's all about looking to the stars, you meditating, reading, doing your research, um, cleaning your space so that you align yourself, but mind, body, and spirit in your environment. Okay. All right. Let's get the outcome for you. It's the outcome for Capricorn. Okay, two cards came in or came out. The star card, the star mother card. How can you mother yourself? And you know, you've already been giving the given the advice. You know, here. How can you mother yourself? Look to the stars and reconnecting. You know, some of you are, you know, probably you're know, learning more. Maybe this reading is about learning more about the moon cycles and really tuning into that full moons, new moons, waning moons, waxing moons you know, all of that, or even getting into astrology for some of you, um, you're probably now, you know, some of you are, that's, it could be, you know, a fascinating topic for some of you. Maybe some of you are reading your horoscopes more often, or you're really digging a little bit more deeper into your astrological signs, your natal charts. Um, so how can you mother yourself, clean your space, read, research, meditate, look to the stars to reconnect? Um, and then if you're thinking about a question right now, the answer is no. Um, so wait, postpone, pause, and say no. So, um, I feel like whatever's coming towards you, you're eventually going to say yes, but this right now, this process is about, um, tuning in and reconnecting so that you have a clear understanding of when that opportunity comes in. You're not just rushing into something. You've already done your research. You've thought about it. You've connected to it. And you're going to now say, and then you're going to then say yes. But right now it's no, because there's a lot of um, in-between work to do before this opportunity comes in for you. Um, or not. So we'll see what the tarot says. What's the, what's the outcome for Capricorn? Okay, bottom of the deck is the Ace of Wands. This energy here is about inspiration. You, you being inspired to do something. You're feeling very powerful. You're feeling like you're in a state of being able to create. There's a new beginning happening. There's a potential for something to arise for you. And we already know that because the Ace of Pentacles is here. So that's the overall energy. Then I pulled the just, I mean the overall outcome. The Justice, the Nine of Swords, and then the Five of Wands. That's there for you too. So um, whatever this outcome is, um, it's all about taking care of yourself now. And maybe this is you saying no to other people. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra energy, Gemini, Aquarius, um, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Um, or this could just definitely be in your chart. So there's an energy of an outcome of you saying no or saying no to a situation, saying no to a person. Um but you're tr because you're trying to you're trying to I feel like some of you might be in the phase of trying to balance 
um, work and play um, or trying to balance something physical and spiritual. Um, you taking care of yourself and versus you taking care of other people. And I feel like something is like definitely keeping you up, weighing on your mind very heavily. That's got you stressed. Some of you could be feeling depressed or going to be feeling depressed because there's just a lot going on. Some of you could be in disagreements with people. Um, just a lot of conflict and change that's happening. But I feel like it's for your it's for your better good. Um, it doesn't sound like it, but I feel like it's it's to help you. Um, um, elevate spiritually okay elevate consciously that's why this advice is about reading about meditating about cleaning your space about looking to the car the stars you know really you know digging deep into astrology or it just metaphysics period numerology it doesn't matter whatever fascinates you is something that's going to be good for you so that you get to this place of being able to take care of yourself so that you can fully take care of others for their highest good and not for the benefit of anything else. Um, and when I say that, um, meaning you're not doing things to get some, to gain something from it and people aren't doing things from you for you so that they can gain something from it. Um, but it's just come, it comes from a, um, it comes from a authentic place. And I, and I feel like you guys are trying to really step into that authenticity right now but so opportunities are occurring some things you're going to have to say no to some people you're going to have to say no to um but this is all for you okay when, when you're good everybody's good that's just kind of how it works um so that is um some things that you could do this month as far as um the advice and really tapping in and it's it's going to feel conflicted. It's it's going to be things that are coming up for you that feel very uncomfortable and keep you in the head in your headspace. There's going to be you know subconscious things arising coming to the surface so that you can deal with it and let that go. Um, but this again is with this Ace of Wands a new opportunity for you to create a new potential, new creation, new inspiration. So everything that you experience is going to inspire you to do something new. Okay. All right, Capricorn, thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope this reading resonated with you. If it did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment below. Share this with your family and friends and take care of yourselves right now. It's a crazy time, right? All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Many blessings and love and light. Chat with you guys later. Bye, Capricorn.